ladies, gentlemen, let the show begin. All right, do you like video games? And I know you do. What about entertainment? We got that to video game. I'm not a video game. Video game. Oh, what's the name? Video game Armada. Time for another edition of this just in or not. And of course, this is the one from the gamer boss bronze. Well, people, once again, Destiny 2 is a thing. A thing to some, a really big thing to myself and other guardians who play said game of the original Destiny Una, or just plain old Destiny. But recently, the good people at Bungie just released the gameplay trailer we Destiny faithful been wanting to see since they released the announced trailer about a month or so ago about Destiny 2. And I gotta say that the, the gameplay trailer was quick, flash, and it hardly could tell you anything you want to know about the game. Boo. But their uh, Twitch announcement stream, which should be live on YouTube in some way, shape, or form, is also up there. Had more details about said game, game new features, new character abilities, new weapons, new weapon systems, PvP, you name it, all the important bits. I highly recommend watching the Destiny 2 full stream that's on YouTube right now to get all the juicy details. But here's a summary of all the good things that are coming in the sequel. Uh, we got a new campaign mode where the last city, basically the hub for all players in the original game, gets destroyed by my favorite faction, the Cabal, uh, or more to the point, the Red Legion, led by Dominus Garou, also known as Gary to the community. Yes, even with our glorious powers and all our fancy weapons and the Vanguard, it all gets pff, taken away and destroyed. We get separated and we have to fight back because the Red Legion has the Traveler, cast away the Vanguard, and guess what? All our glorious weapons and armors that we saved since the beginning are gone! No! So we have to get a new armory, we have to get new arms, armors, we need to get new powers, more on that in a second, and we have to find the Vanguard and strike back at Garul and get the Traveler before he does something insidious and nasty to the silent giant orb in the sky. This new adventure will take us all over the place, including four new locations, well, three new locations and one familiar one, going to Titan where it's nothing but storms and crazy not water water. Nessus, which is a planetoid of random origin, I guess, now becoming a, the next tech planet for the Vex. And you know the Vex always have some sort of secret time-altering goodies in there, so why the heck not go? And of course, Io, a somewhat mystical world where it's full of the light or the last place that the Traveler visited or whatever where a certain warlock is probably hiding out, wink wink. And of course, since the last city is nothing but a crater, I assume anyway, Noop, the players will now have to make their new home in the European Dead Zone. And despite the name European Dead Zone, it's actually quite lovely and full of nature. Eh, naming conventions, right? But we do know about the European Dead Zone because that was a PvP place, you know, in the Crucible. But now it's gonna be our new home city for now. Combat has also been changed in the game of Destiny. I mean, not totally radically changed, but enough to make it a difference between the first game and the second game. First of all, the loadouts of the weapons changed. You know, you had your standard weapon, your special weapon, your heavy weapon in the original game. Well, in this, in Destiny 2, it's essentially two primaries you can choose to use, plus a special power weapon. And now, what constitutes a power weapon is probably your rocket launchers, your heavy machine guns, maybe the swords, maybe. But now, sniper rifle fits that bolt now too. Sorry, long shotters, but your weapon choice has now been delegated to heavy. Oopsies! But that's not all. They have also included two new weapon types. We got yourself the grenade launchers for the power weapon specs, which is what you may think, 
like a rocket launcher, butt with grenades, and of course, submachine guns. Yes, finally. I love assault rifles, people. I really do. But sometimes, you just want to spray and pray without the need for aiming all the time. That's what submachine guns bring to the table. Awesome, 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 awesome. Can't wait to get my first one. But of course, everyone knows that guns and armor are just only half the combat awesomeness that is Destiny. The other half is the powers. Yes, you unleash the light to rain devastation upon your enemies. If it's Guardians and Crucible, or the Minions of the Darkness, it's always an impressive affair. But since the Cabal was able to defeat us in the beginning of the game, we need new powers. The Dawnblade for the Warlock class, which gives the Warlock class an ethereal solar sword to slash up opponents. Oh, and the ability to fly too. So you can take it to them up close or very far away and just slash, slash, slash those problems away. Then we got the Titan the new power, which is a Sentinel. Basically, you turn Titans into Captain America. Throw a shield, protect yourself, become unstoppable. Who doesn't like that? Now lastly, the new subclass power for hunters is very similar to one they had previously in the first game. The new one, calling, called the Arc Strider, allows hunters to summon a staff of pure lightning energy to attack foes melee range, which is very similar to Blade Dancers, which was the previous game's version of what I just said, but instead of a staff, it was a knife uh, imbued with lightning energy. Now I hope that the hunters have more than just a weapon swap of a uh, power they had in the previous game generation. Otherwise, I would feel kind of bad since they got short change in this new upgrade. Hey, maybe the staff could do neat things. Maybe it'll allow them to reach heights, give them an enhanced jump, like maybe a fourth jump or something. Or hey, it could be like Goku and just power pole extend and just whack people at it an enhanced range. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I'll give it a benefit of the doubt. We'll see when the game comes out proper. And let me tell you, people, those details were the most important in my eyes, but they certainly weren't the only ones. Like I said, you gotta watch the full stream. Don't watch the trailer. The trailer is, well, just the trailer. But the full stream, watch it. Very important, especially if you care about Destiny and or Destiny 2. But until next time, this was the one drawing the gamer boss Bronze telling you to stay tuned for more goodies from Video Gamer Modern.